coach wins and cancer loses. Central Michigan's football coach and his triumph off the field. He went from radiation to practice every day for months, and our Brad Galley was there on that final day. Brad joins us now. Brad? Stephen Glenda, John Bonamigo left the Detroit Lions coaching staff earlier this year, accepting what he called his dream job at his alma mater, Central Michigan. But then cancer complicated his dream. Bonamigo invited me to join him for his emotional final cancer treatment. And along the way, his players showed they were always there by their coach's side, even when he least expected it. It's 3.30 in the afternoon, and Central Michigan football coach John Bonamigo is preparing to talk to his team. But the real story is what took place eight and a half hours before practice here at the Cancer Treatment Center in Ann Arbor. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. I really wouldn't. You don't have any other option. You just got to kind of put your head down and grind through it. Just four months after Bonamigo accepted the head coaching job at Central Michigan, he was sucker punched with a cancer diagnosis in his tonsils. <laughs> This is the disgusting part they don't tell you about. You go through that whole phase in the beginning, it's like, this can't be cancer. It's definitely been hard watching him. Certain days are harder than others, and just um, dealing with things we didn't expect, like the soreness in the neck, loss of appetite. There's times where I wish that, that you know, that I, you know, every day you probably wish you weren't doing it. You know, the, the worst phase is really at the end. But all of the pain has come to an end. John went through months of radiation, used a feeding tube in his side, and lost 25 pounds. It's all over, and he's celebrating his final cancer treatment. I have learned a lot. My message was, you know, hey, we have another opponent. You guys just keep working, keep doing the things we're doing, and uh, don't worry about me because I'm going to be fine. You're a man of your word. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased to see this, or say it's, to be sitting here and say that it's worked out that way. The radiation, which took a hard toll on his body, is all over now. And to commemorate the moment, John gets to do something he's been waiting a long time to do. All right, let's ring the bell. <laughs> oh, I'm going to give it a call. <laughs> all right, thank you again. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And he wasn't the only one. Do you get to ring the bell today? He does get awesome, to ring the bell man. today. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> you get to ring it. I just rang it too, man. I'm so proud of you. All right, man. Thank you. There's a lot of tough people walking the hallways of this building. Minutes after walking out of the hospital, John's attention turns to football on the trek back to the office in Mount Pleasant. So we return to that walk to the practice field, the one he makes every day. This one is different, and even though John does know that, he doesn't exactly know what's next. Did you know about this? What the hell? I love you, set me up. We got the whole Chippewa Athletic family here. It's a big day, John, and uh, we're with you. We're, we're happy. We're all celebrating together, and uh, we're here to ring the bell with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, man. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Not once did John make this journey about himself, and I think for the first time I saw 105 college athletes, all big brooding men, crying together on one field and cheering on their coach. It was truly remarkable to be there for him. We thank Paulette and John for letting us along for that journey and to share kind of his inspiring message to people out there to keep fighting and to lean on the people around you. Yeah, John looks like a guy who does not like to lose. Well, no. Well, his best coaching job done off the field. You know, what they gained from him and his, his personal life is incredible, Brad. Thank they you for bringing that to us. They haven't even started the season yet, and I think already they've got a big win. So, yeah, yeah you're welcome. Thank you to John.